हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल ट्रेन्स ऑटोमेशन डेस्टिनेशन दिस साइड ट्रेन्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट येट अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ऑन एआई दैट इज इंटेलिजे एआई असिस्टेंट एंड विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ टू यूटिलाइज इट इन स्पेरिंग अप द टेस्ट ऑटोमेशन डेवलपमेंट दैट इज टेस्ट ऑटोमेशन स्क्रिप्ट डेवलपमेंट सो विदाउट फर्दर डिले लेट मी जंप ऑन टू द डिस्कशन राइट so we are going to talk about uh, intellij ai assistant this is introduced by jetbrain ai and this is not available for free we'll have to take a license in case your organization is allowing to use this particular ai assistant have license and have license you can utilize it otherwise it is not recommended to use it into the organization uh, work so if you will read this particular statement activate ai assistant for work purposes only if it meets corporate policies right so this is the icon so in my case i'm using latest version of intellij which is 2025 so by default it was showing this particular icon in case you don't see it you can simply go to plugin section and from plugin section you can download ai assistant and you can start using it so after downloading it what you have to do is after you need to click on this particular icon and here you'll have to log in to uh, jetbrain account you'll have to create your jetbrain account or you can utilize either gmail account or github account to integrate with jetbrain account to utilize this particular ai assistant right in my case i have integrated github account right so these are some of the key features so these are the sections which you can see on ai assistant section ai assistant option i mean must have these are the options that we should definitely use this is write code section automate routine ask chat and get explanations right so let us discuss about these features one by one must have uh, have these uh, sections complete code where we can get the suggestions of a assistant we can generate commit messages right which could be relevant messages which can be generated with the help of a assistant if we are getting some runtime error after execution so we can get to know about those errors with the help of a assistant we can generate the code from descriptions so for example if we have used the stories in jira or on somewhere on confluence we can directly use those descriptions and we can ask it to write the test cases right or to ask to write the method right we can generate the documentation for the written code we can during writing the code we can ask uh, for the assistance on assistant on um, i mean suggesting the names right so it will give us this the best name uh, we can take help in refactoring right we can find the errors in a particular code and could ask it to fix that part we can generate the test for a particular page we can convert the code into another language which would be beneficial if for example we are migrating from one framework to another so in that case it is going to be really helpful right so we can explicitly ask to uh, ai assistant we can ask programming questions we can check uh, what this particular code is working uh, block of code is working we can check on vcs part if for example we want to understand what this particular commit message is doing right or anything related to vcs right we can create our own prompt library we can uh, have reference files right we can point to reference files right uh, to check out what exactly is there right we can uh, ask ai assistant to explain the code explain the commits as well right so with the help of these features we can take benefit of this particular ai assistant and can speed up our uh, development right so without further delay let me go on to go to intellij right so this is the test ng framework which we developed earlier with the help of uh, uh, one of the ai tool that is bolt new ai tool uh, with that it become very easy to develop the framework within 10 minutes so in case you want to understand how to design a framework uh, within 10 minutes with the help of ai tool you can check out my video in ai in ai icon right to understand more on how to utilize ai tool right so let me explain you what this uh, test framework is this is very basic framework where we have base test where we have written some common code uh, like setup where would be initializing the code or would be initializing the uh, like extent report manager right this is a sample test class right and uh, which is uh, for card test and uh, this particular application is developed for source demo which is a sample application right so this card test is extending this base test so that uh, it can utilize this uh, common functionality of base test so this is some inheritance functionality of uh, java right if i'll talk about src in java so it has defined one constants 
uh, package under that it created one test constants right when i say that it created meaning the ai tool has created it right so here it has defined the constants it has followed the page object model and written the pages for all the pages of the application right it has uh, created some of the utilities right so this is what it has developed and this is how the framework look like at high level right now let me show you this is the ai assistant right so let me clear the previous chat right delete chat and click on yes right so if you don't see this particular ai chat icon you can simply go here go to settings and in plugin section you can uh, search for JetBrain AI assistant and you can uh, like enable it right so this is how you will start seeing this particular option after that you need to log in and uh, once you will log in uh, you'll have to log in with either a github account you'll have to create your JetBrain account or you will have to have JetBrain license right so in my case i'm using trial version right so let me click on new chat here you can see the list of all features that i just showed from the slide section must have write code automate routine ask chat and get explanations so we'll be we'll try to cover most of them uh, and some of them will be uh, not covering right so let us try to understand or go back to the slide right complete code so in this case it will automatically automatically suggest right so for that purpose let me go here or let me go to one of the class let me go to login test and let us say let us create at the rate test and after that what we will do is we'll simply add the rate test and public void let me see i believe we are making some mistake so let me close this thing and come from here once again right because it need context at the rate login and here we will start writing at the rate test and after that as soon as i entered uh, like enter it is suggesting that uh, please this can be a test case which can be added so if i'll click on tab it will this code will be added right and if i should as soon as i enter it will start showing that you can add further code right so you can follow this uh, so if i press tab it will automatically be added right and uh, we can write our prompt here as well right so for example control this so we can write our prompt so with the help of control and backslash we can open our prompt as well if we want to for example ask to write the entire code so we can take help here as well right and this is the complete code section this is how we can take benefit of writing the code right with the help of ai assistant which will keep suggesting right now coming back to generate commit message so it will come into the picture when we'll be dealing with the git repository but in my case this particular framework is yet not on github that's why i won't be talking about this generate uh, commit message let me talk about explain runtime errors runtime errors so for that purpose let me execute one of the test case so this is one of the test case which is about launching the application logging with the valid credentials and verifying the title right so by default it will pass let me make modification in expected result for title and make it one two three four so that it will become an intentional failure right so right click on this and click on run so in this case it will start the chrome browser it will launch source demo app and will enter the credentials and at last it will verify the title which would be products but i have given expected result as one two three four products one two three four so it will fail right so it has started the execution it has launched chrome browser it will launch the url it will enter the credentials we'll click on login and we'll try to verify the title right where it will fail because this is intentional failure as we discussed So you see we got the failure right so what we will do is let us right click on this error we can click on explain error message with ai right so this is where we can take help for ai assistant so if you will notice this is where it is talking with uh one of the llm so let me tell you so this is llm which we can integrate so by default it is gpt 4.0 right you can integrate to anyone 
and take the output from any of the LLM. So if I'll talk about AI in the nutshell, so AI is artificial intelligence and in order to talk to this Gen AI tools, so we'll have to have LLM in the background, right? So it could be GPT-4 or Gemini, right? Cloud or anything, right? Whatever is available in the market, right? And whatever has been integrated by IntelliJ so far, right? So we'll be able to talk to them. And whenever we want to talk to AI, we'll have to send it messages and that message should be precise so that ai should be able to give the relevant answer and this message is known as prompt right so if you will see that whenever we right clicked and uh, clicked on um, explain the error right so it has uh, written the text like this so it was automated message please help me understand what the problem is and try to fix the code right so it has given the problem and it has suggested the third solution as well right so suggested correct the expected page title right so it has given it right so make it products and it will be able to work right so this is uh, how we can uh, fix the errors as well right now talking about generate code from descriptions right generally the user stories would be available on jira in the form of description or on confluence page in the form of description right so with the help of uh, description we can generate the code right so for that purpose what we can do is we can ask here as well or what we can do is we can uh, write our description here so for example write login uh, with login with the uh, special character right so if you will notice it is saying tab to generate with ai so if i click on tab to generate ai it will send the request and it will then return the code right so it is generating the patches if you will see and let us wait Right. so if you will see it has created one method right verify login with special characters right this is what it has created so if i'll click on accept it will add this right so this is how uh, we can take help or we can create the test cases with the help of description right descriptive text term in right now coming back to another feature generate documentation right so uh, documentation is always important so for example if i'll ask it to generate document right so i'll simply highlight the text i'll go here and we'll say that write documentation right so as soon as i'll do it this ai assistant will start writing the documentation about this particular method what exactly it is working right so this is how we can take help of ai assistant in writing the documentation as well so this is about a must have feature now uh, talking about the right code so we can uh, get the suggestion on names we can get the suggestion on refactoring we can find the errors and suggest fixes so let us go one by one right so suggest names right for example it has created login page right so i'll right click i'll go to refactor and here if i'll click on rename if you will see that is, there is a spinning icon going on right so let us wait for it so if you will see this is the ai assistant icon and it has suggested the name that these are the this is the relevant name that you can utilize for this particular object right so this is for example we can do like this and this is how it will modify right so this is one thing and for example another part is suggest refactoring so we can right click and we can go to ai assistant and uh, can ask it suggest refactoring right so based on that it will take this code as a context and it will uh, go for request to ai assistant and it is giving the refactored code so so it will give the refactored code which we can utilize directly and it will explain what exactly it has updated and this is how we can refactor our code as well right so things become quite easy right now talking about this this is cover now we can generate the test case and we can convert one file into another language as well so let me go here and uh, uh, talk about generation of test case right so i'll go to pages so for example for login page we want to create the test cases so i'll go to ai assistants and create generate unit test cases right so here also the request will go to ai assistant and it will start creating it right so if you will notice it has created login page test so somewhere it has created pages under test section and it has started writing it and it has created this test right if i'll click on accept all so one login page test is created with the test cases right so this is how we can generate the test cases for a particular page class as well right so let me delete this right 
because this is for the demonstration purpose right now we can convert to another language as well which is very important right so sometimes uh, um, we, we need to migrate from one language to another right so we can right click and simply go to AI assistant and we can then um, some way we'll see that uh, uh, convert it into another language convert file to another language so let me convert this into C sharp so if you will see that it is processing receiving response from JetBrain AI assistant right and as a result it will generate one file with .cs extension so if you will notice .cs extension so same code is written in cs that is c sharp format right so this is how uh, things become easy right with the help of ai assistant right now this is one thing uh, now we can talk to uh, like uh, this particular ai assistant directly as well we can for example go here we can click here and we can start a new chat and here we can check uh, how to write or like what is the purpose of static in java right so it can give answer for this as well right so we can ask programming problems we can ask anything right so in java static keyword is used for the memory management right so this is how we can ask the questions ask about project code right so for example we can right uh, click on a particular test method we can go to ai action and we can ask it to explain the code so as soon as we'll ask it it will explain the code right so it has uh, copied this particular section here and it has started generating the answer so it is explaining what this particular method is doing right so this is how we can understand the code as well with the help of ai assistant right so if uh, something related to uh, this vcs which is uh, git or scm uh, right uh, okay so we can create a prompt library as well which is a advanced topic reference files is for example what we can do is uh, please explain uh, methods of at the rate and we can point to any of the class so let us say login test and if you will notice that it is pointing to this so if i'll hit this so it will it it will pointing to this thing right so we can reference to a file and we can understand something or we can point we can understand what exactly this particular file is doing right so we can point or reference to a particular file right with the help of ai assistant right so this is another thing right and we already discussed this explain code part as well similarly if there is a commit with the help of explain commit we can get to know what exactly this particular explicit uh, this commit message is doing right so to show you let me click on new chat all features right so explain commits so if you will see it is saying that go to git tool window in the commits pane select one or more commits right and here it will show the video as well right okay so here on the top it will show the video as well right and you can check it in my case it is not getting loaded properly but it will explain the steps as well so if 